Hello everyone, welcome back to Thief 2. So, uh, my voice is going to sound a little bit weird. Because I just had four teeth removed. Gotta love those wisdom teeth. So it kind of feels like my jaw is filled with lead. Due to, I think, inflammation. So, I I've waited, it's been almost a week, so I've waited till a point where it doesn't sound like I'm talking with a mouthful of marbles. Now it just sounds like I'm talking with a few marbles in my mouth. So my voice probably sounds a little bit weird, but I think it's good enough. Anyway, I'm sick of waiting, I want to play, so let's go. Alright, so it's been like a week since I've played, so I kind of forgot what I'm doing, but I do know that I need to, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, basically I just need to steal a bunch of stuff and get out. So I've got this code, what's it called? Uh, code box? Code lock? Lockbox? Whatever it is, you put in the right number for the tenant, and then it opens it. So right now I've got 0457, which is Capezo's, or Capezo's apartment. So let's go find his apartment. It should be open. Actually, wait a minute. Before we go to Capezzo, which I think is on the ground floor, let's explore these that are locked up here. I hear someone. Oh, shit. Where are they? I don't know if they're on the grating outside that door, or if they're actually in here. Okay, I think I'm safe. I think they're on the outside. Uh. Oh, hello. Alright, uh, I think there's some locked doors down here. In fact, the one right in front of me, I believe, is locked. Question is, though, does it... Does it tell me the number on the door? Nope. Damn. So finding the number is gonna be tricky. Yeah, it doesn't tell me the number. Shit. Alright, so I guess we are going to go to Capezzo's. <clears throat> First, though, let's go upstairs. I want to find out what's upstairs. I'd also like to know what's downstairs, actually. Let's go downstairs first. I don't think there's anyone down here. Is there something hiding behind you, box? <laughs> nope. Don't hear anyone. Ah, I know where that is. Is a place where there's a bunch of people. Hmm, I think I tried to get into that door previously and I couldn't. Because I don't have the key. But now I don't need it. Because I'm already inside. Alright, what's upstairs? Looks like an attic. With absolutely nothing in it. That's exactly what a thief wants to find. Nothing. Oh, hello. Hmm. This should provide me access to some interesting places. The roof. A thief's best friend. Can't climb up there. What's over here? Hmm. 
Well, I'm glad I'm not afraid of heights, because otherwise this would scare the shit out of me. I am really high. I'm so high right now. Ooh, what is that? It's like some loot. Let me enhance. Da da da. That's got to be worth something. And that's probably an incriminating love letter or something. I don't hear anyone. I think it's safe. I'm going to drop down. Actually, oh, shit. <laughs> I was about to say, I could use a rope arrow. Actually, do I even have one? No, I don't. Couldn't use one even if I wanted to, and I doubly couldn't use it because I can't shoot a rope arrow into glass. Arrows do not stick into glass. They either bounce off or break it. Alright. What is this letter? Oh, this is it. Weekly financial report. God, I'm like slurring half the things I'm saying, aren't I? Rent paid, rent paid, rent paid. Alright, I don't... See how this is... Interesting. I don't see the point in that. I mean, it makes sense for world-building purposes for that to be there. But I, I can't do anything with it, can I? Wait, it's... God damn it, I just went in a circle. Fuck. Oh, shit. Whew. That was close. Alright, Capezzo, which I think is on the ground floor, somewhere. Emphasis on somewhere. I think this leads to the... Uh, walkway. Yep. Which I don't want to walk on because it's extremely loud. Alright, that's... That servant walked somewhere here. I need to go to the ground floor. Oh shit. Uh, do I have a flash bomb? No, I don't. Time to leave. Goodbye. where I just went into. How the hell do I get down from here without walking on the grating? I need to get back... Oh, shit. I need to get back up where I just was, but I, I don't remember how I got there. Um, oh, yeah, 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 right here. Duh. Oh god, please don't fall. I'm gonna save. Eh, 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 there we go. Actually, wait, what if I went... Hold on. Before I do that, let's go around here. Come on. What the... Can I not actually get on there? It seems like there's an invisible wall. Eh. Yeah, there's an invisible wall. Alright. Guess I'm not going there. Oh my god, that's slow. Oh, I can actually sprint. Alright, Capezos, Capezos, Capezos. <sighs> what if I jumped on that? I'm gonna jump on that. What's in there? Hello, what the, you know, wait, what, 
What the fuck is this? A gigantic box that can only be entered from the top and has a little cutout in it that leads to a chamber? Like, what? This doesn't make any sense. But as always, I won't complain. Give me that money. Found secret. Rope arrow, that's gonna come in handy. <sighs> Ow. Actually, I don't... Have I tried lockpicking this? I don't remember. Doesn't work. Alright, Capezos, Capezos. Gotta find Capezos. Hello, servant. Ooh, this... Do I have this one? No, I don't have this one written down. Let's see. Uh, 6937. Hold on. 6937. And whose place is this? Lord Porter. Fine art. Should find something to steal in there. Yeah, apologies if, like, half of my words are slurred or weird-sounding, because they, they sound a bit weird to me. It's kind of hard to articulate my mouth when it's all fucked up. Alright, where am I? Uh, I think I'm here, so I think I need to go... south. So I think I need to go that way. Oh. That servant comes this way, I'm gonna whack him over the head. Gonna play whack-a-mole with the servant. Perfect. Yes. Yes. I am going to put you with the other one. Oh god. Slow down here. Uh, Alright. Got a little man pile going on. Book it. To the docks. Is that 0266? Let me zoom in. 0266, that's another one. Don't know what that's to. And there's yet another one. 7933. Let's actually find out what that is to, and where am I right now? I'm still here. Huh. What was that? DM Gilver, exporting company. Ooh, I can export some of his stuff to my pockets. DM Gilver, I hear something coming. I'm going to do that. DM Gilver. I don't think writing down the names is really important, but just in case. Hello, guard. I'm going to go get him. Please don't turn around. Is that another guard? Is he looking... Oh, shit. Nope, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Goodbye. See ya. Alright, I'm hoping Capezzo's on the other side here. I think there's some more doors here. Five one eight eight. And that is <gasps> Stop disappearing. TM Blackheart. Oh, the musician. 
should be able to steal his newest composition for sale on the black market. Probably just gonna sell it to his uh, his best competitor. 6013, is that the one I did? Capezzo, no, that's not the one. God, there's so many, I'm gonna have to go back and forth so many times. It's totally gonna be worth it though. Sven, whatever it is, don't really care, 6013. 6013, so far I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far I have seven numbers. And I'm gonna have to go back and forth for each one because I can only have one open at a time. That is going to be tedious. Alright, where the hell is this Capezzo? O five nine zero. do I have that one? No. Yet another one, what's this? Yeah, I'm not even gonna write down the names, it doesn't really matter. Weaponsmithing. I'm sure, he'll, I'm sure he'll have something to sell. Alright, where am I now? Now I'm back here. Did I ever go here? I don't think I did. That must be where Capezzo is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 0457. 0457. Yeah, this is Capezzo's. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're in business. <laughs> Excellent. Holy This place looks like an inventor's shop. There's probably a valuable gadget or two around here. Uh, that looks pretty valuable. That looks like a massive and kind of creepy looking head made out of solid gold. Take a look at that in a second. What is this? What is this? Can, can you get a key to open it from the inside or something? What? Alright, I guess I had the key for that, but there's no keyhole on the outside. Hmm. Another scouting orb. I still don't know what that does. <sighs> what is that? Is that just like a stain? I think it's just part of the texture. <sighs> Oh, I can't take it. God, that thing has feet. What the hell is it? Some sort of an android? Oh, wait a minute. What is this? This... does this open? It kind of looks like a little storage. No, I don't think it does. No, no, no. Go back up. Oh my god, that's loud. Well, now that I've alerted every guard in the entire world, I'm gonna go upstairs. Up. Up. Thank you. I remember someone in one of their notes mentioned having... I think it was the Lens Crafter. I think the Lens Crafter mentioned having some sort of a secret chamber to store his valuables in. So I'm going to be on the lookout for secret levers hidden around these people's shops. High voltage. All right. Alright, I think that's it. Alright, I gotta get back up to that main place. Which, uh, can I jump up here? There's no way I can make that, can I? <laughs> no. Uh, does my building A key work for this? Nope. Well, I guess I'll just go through the balcony. No, can't fit there. Too fat. Alright, let's do the one right down here. What is this? 0624, do I have that? 0624, I don't even have that one. 624. Uh, let me start crossing these off. Alright, first one crossed off. This is gonna take forever, but I- oh shit. 
This is going to take forever, but I'm going to be rich after this. I am not going to have any trouble paying the rent. That's for sure. Did I hear someone open the balcony? Or is that me? I thought I just heard someone open a door. Anyway, alright, so I gotta figure out a fast route to get up there. I think going up here might actually be about the fastest way. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Ow. Alright, there's something up there. There we go. All right, next one on the list, selling Turo. 0266. All right, now we just gotta go find it. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's go find selling Turo. I have no idea where his place is. Mm. Oh, wait, wait a minute. It says on the map? I wish I knew that. Is this for this floor? Wait a minute, what? I have such a hard time reading these damn maps. <laughs> Lady Angelica's Experimental Apothecary. Eh. 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 So... This, this is building A. Second floor. Oh, so is that like a, an upper level entrance? Alright, so this door... Where's the door into it? Right there. So if I go south through a door, there should be a door right on the right. South. South. So it should be right on the right here. Here? That should be that door. That's so crappy. The text is so pixely, I can't even read that. Is that 0624? Let's try it. 0624. Oh, you know what? I actually have 0624 written down, so it must be 0624. 0624. Bingo. Gonna cross that one off. Yeah. God damn it. Wait a minute, does that... Okay, I don't know what the fuck the lockbox is, but... Wait. Wait, do I have... Do I have something on me? Like a lockbox? No. I think this... I think this lock thing only opens up those green doors. I don't think it actually opens up the other types of doors. So, wait, what's the lockbox then? Can I, like, take this with me? Alright, well, I don't know what the hell the lockbox is. Oh, hello. But if I get down, uh, this should be accessed through. In that direction somewhere. So let's go back up. And I get up by going... Oh my god. I have a terrible sense of direction. Here. This really is going to take a very long time. You know, I don't think I even have the patience to do all of them. I think I'm just going to do enough to get the money I need and then get the hell out of here. Wait, this doesn't go the way I want. No. God damn it. I went up. 
You know, fuck it, I'm just gonna go this way. I went up last time, and I just went down. <gasps> all in all, that worked out pretty well. Where should I put you? I know where I'll put you, right here. Hold on, it's not quite done yet. There we go, no one will suspect a thing. There's only a couple of feet poking out from a bunch of haphazardly thrown boxes. Totally not suspicious at all. Right out here. Alright, I think they're all up there. Alright, actually, let's do this one 0924. 0924. Act no, no, I've already crossed off the other one. I'm gonna do it. But 0924 is one of them. Zero, nine, two, four. God, I've got like over ten, I think, at this point. Is this going to take me where I want to go? I don't think it will. No, where the hell does this go? What's that thing up there? Is that some gigantic chute? <gasps> it is. Where the hell does that go? I'm curious now. Oh, damn it. I'm sliding. Oh, there we go. Just needed to sprint. Wait, is this that garbage chute that I saw? It is. Oh, I don't want to go up here. Nah, screw that. Alright, we gotta go around. <sighs> gotta go around. Now I've got another man pile going. What is that in there? Is that the code, the code box, lock box, whatever it's called? Or is that just like a, I don't get it, I don't get it. Let's see if any of my keys open this. Wait, what? Okay, apparently I had the key to this. So, what the hell is this? 0624. Oh, I guess there's multiple ones of these. And they're... I can still only have one open at a time. Like, they share their codes across. Because this is the one I just unlocked. But I unlocked it on the other one. Okay. Well, let me uncross this. I guess. Because now that I'm down here, I want to do 0924. Because that's right next to me. 0924. Uh, never mind. Zero nine two eight. There we go. <gasps> Germ is the man that makes those magic lenses. There's probably some valuable lenses in here. Valuable lenses. Alright, so I think this is the guy that has the secret compartment. Thought you could hide from me. Shit. Come 
They heard me. Should not have crouch sprinted on this metal grating. Alright, I think I need to get out of here pretty quickly. Got some expensive glasses. What does this say? Invoice 10 pounds. 10 pounds? Jesus. That's a lot of crystal. And soap. <laughs> gotta have soap. Alright, so there's gotta be a special compartment. Question is, where? Where are you? Let me just save it. I am not leaving here before I find that special compartment. Are they actually coming down here? Oh, shit. I think they're right there. Hi. What do I have? Broadhead arrow, water, moss, rope, noisemaker, so nothing other than my... Other than my blackjack. Alright, I think I'm okay. I think they're leaving. Get back there, you well, that one's leaving. The other one seems to have a bug up his ass. I think this is actually a good thing, because normally they're, uh, they're patrolling right behind each other, to the point where I can't take one out because the other one will hear, but now they're separated. So I'm actually going to take this one out. Uh, what the fuck? Don't make me come find you. I thought he was leaving. Okay. Uh, so I wonder where that compartment could be. There's really very few places it could be, because this place is, like, completely bare. Alright, there we go. Are you serious? Is he psychic? Oh, I guess there's nothing wrong. I'm just going to suddenly turn around instantly to someone who's walking very quietly while crouched. What if I go slower? Like, what the fuck is happening here? There we go. I, I guess because he's... Because he was searching for me before? Perfect. I guess because he was searching for me before, he was in a state of heightened alert. But that's just too sensitive. That doesn't make any sense. I'm being, like, completely silent and he just instantly turns around. I don't... I don't like that. That's too much. Well, I don't think the guy up there can see me down here. So, back to what I was doing. Where is that secret compartment?
Wow. So if I crouch and walk up this thing, this is how fast I go. I am moving. Look. But very, very slowly. I'm starting to think there isn't a secret compartment. I mean, where could it be? Maybe this is not the guy that has the secret compartment? I don't know. I, the inventory does say 10 pounds of rare Adonisio crystal, and I certainly didn't find 10 pounds. I just found, like, a couple bits. I don't know. I'm just going to leave. Screw it. Alright, time for the next one. Let's just go in order from the closest to the furthest. So what's the next closest? What's this one? 0266. Zero two six six. That is Celenturo, or Celentura, whatever it is. Cross that one off. I'm assuming because of the time that it is, everyone is not in their shop, so they should be abandoned. I think. Is this a guy that was running the gambling place out of his out of his place? Hello. Damn it. Need a key. I like how he just has a golden candle right next to his bed. Hmm. That's up above, right? Yeah. Alright, is that it? <gasps> Ooh, no it's not. Uh... <gasps> what the... F <laughs> I just got my head stuck inside of the cabinet. All right, up, please. Thank you. Hello. Here we go. Hmm. Got some... I, I don't know what that is. Are they golden dice? Special dice? Are they made out of ivory? Whatever the hell they are, they can't be normal dice because they're apparently worth a lot. I almost have enough. Almost. Alright, next one. So, oh wait, no, there's another one here. 6937. Cross that off. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much alone as far as guards go. Uh, at least down here. I think there's still one guard patrolling up above. Wait, haven't I been in here? Yeah, I've totally been in here before. Alright. 7732. Well, this is a modest shop. Whose place is this again? The accountant. Hmm. 
Guess he wouldn't need a very big shop, would he? And the accountant has a flash bomb. All right. I won't say no to that. What is this? State of Gilver Exporting Company. Our shipment... <clears throat> Our shipment to be exported overseas to Governor Horridge is ready. It is waiting over in Gilver's area and will be shipped out tomorrow afternoon. Having to replace last month's shipment that was lost at sea is putting the company in serious financial trouble. Gilver took out a loan from the First City Bank and Trust to cover the extra expenses. If we don't increase profits next month, then we won't have enough money to stay in business. Fortunately, we just received an unexpected order this morning, and this will bring in some extra money that we, that we can use to pay back the loan. I just had a new batch of shipping labels printed out, and I will bring them over to Gilver in the morning. Alright, so he has a shipment in Gilver's area. Good to know. See, so Gilver is 7933. Hmm, which one should I do next? I guess just the next one that I can find. Alright, what's this one? Oh, there's Gilver's area. 7933. Let's do it. They should give me enough to uh, finish this mission, actually. So I won't have to go to any others, although I could, but... Eh, I don't think it's worth it. Oh. Fuck, I forgot what it was. <laughs> alright, alright. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There it is. Nope. Wait, this doesn't say it. Shit. Seven, was it 7933? Three, three? Eh, uh, fuck. Se uh... Seven nine three three. I think it was seven nine three three. Yes, it was. Whew. I thought I had it written down, but I actually don't. So I didn't even bother to try and remember it. Hmm. Interesting. It's like there's an upper floor. Okay, apparently I'm incapable of going upstairs. I'm not even crouched. I have to sprint to get upstairs. Okay. I knew there was something behind this. Because behind this exact same poster in Thief 1, there was something behind there. So I just madly right-clicked, and what do you know? A diamond. Journal entry 4279. I don't know what is happening to my business. Every attempt to gain extra profit only leads to more loss. On paper, every business plan that I devise with Bramrich seems flawless, but in practice they always fall through. Last month's overseas export to Governor Horridge was supposed to make us rich, but the ship never made it to its destination. I suspect piracy. I had to take out a loan just to cover last month's losses. I was hoping to have this reshipment to the Governor out the door two days ago, but my workers seem to have a hard time toting that barge and lifting that bale when I really need them. I would fire them all in a second, but I wouldn't be able to find anyone to work for li for what little I can afford to pay. I... Why does it just end with I? What? Why did he end the page here with I and then continue it on the next page? That makes no sense. To what little I can afford to pay? I... Just finalized the governor's shipment, and I had my secretary run over to Bramrich's office to grab the shipping label so that it can be attached to the outgoing crate. I'm going over to the crippled brick for a drink, then it's back here for more paperwork. Ooh, sounds like fun. Yeah, why would someone stop writing, like, two-thirds through a page? But start a sentence two-thirds through a page, and then continue it on the next page. That makes no sense. All right, what's upstairs? I actually already have everything that I need, but I want more. 
I need more. What the hell is this? Emergency use only. Hmm, would this set off an alarm if I opened it? Well, you only live once. Nope, no alarm. What if there's something up there? Mayhaps there's a diamond sitting atop the crates? Alright, you know what? Before the mission ends, I want to find out what this scouting orb does. Because I've never used one before. Here we go. Oh. Can I zoom in, zoom out? No. That's actually pretty neat. Can I just keep using it forever? Or Wait, is that me? Can I actually see myself with a scouting orb? <gasps> I've got to try this. Hello, self. You're looking pretty fine, Garrett. Oh god, I can actually reuse them? Nice. These are going to come in handy. I didn't know I could reuse them. I was being stingy with them, but there's no reason to be. Apparently that's worth something, and that is too. Alright, there's gotta be something more up there, right? There always is. Oh, fuck that plate. No, oh, can't reach. Unless, hold on. I have a rope arrow. Anything? Nope. Alright, time to leave. Got everything I came here for and a little bit more. Get back to the stack of crates where you first enter the warehouse district. Alright, that would be... I've got to get outside first. Actually, I think that should be right around, right around here. Yeah, wasn't it just like right over here? Uh, oh, it's right there. I'm here, so I need to go north. I think I'm going north. Am I? No. No, I'm going the actually the opposite way that I need to go. This way. I'm just going to sprint like a madman, because I don't even care if anyone hears me. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Ow. I just broke both of my feet, but I'm fine. Walk it off, Garrett. Walk it off. You're fine. Alright, I think it's right up here. Yep. Done. Mission complete. Last night, an unusual opportunity knocked on my door. Naturally, I was a little suspicious, but my visitor said the job was too sensitive to go through the usual channels. He claimed that an old contact of mine told him where to find me. I was about to ask him who our mutual friend was when he managed to distract me. The job is to break into Shoalsgate Station, headquarters of the City Watch, and quietly frame a certain Lieutenant Hagen for robbing the evidence vault. Hagen is Sheriff Truett's number two man, and has no doubt made life difficult for someone he shouldn't have. 
My unusually resourceful employer has given me all the information I need to pull this off, including a very detailed map of the building. All I have to do is choose a way in, plan my route, and get back out without alerting the bulls. I realize that breaking into Shoals Gate is like looking down a Burrick's mouth with a lit match, but it would pay me enough to lay low for a while, and it doesn't hurt to be giving the police some dirty laundry to deal with either. Besides, with my luck, if I don't take this job, I could end up in there anyway. Well, let's do it. Oh, wow. I can't knock out or kill more than five guards. So I can't, I can't really mess with them too much. I just need to basically remain unseen. All right, so go to Hagen's office, grab a personal item of his, drop it off in the vault on the third floor, and steal the strong box from the vault and leave it in the in Lieutenant Hagen's office. All right. So they're going to find the strong box in his office, and they're going to find one of his personal artifacts in the vault. Let's do it. What have I got to work with? <clears throat> As always, intel is the most important thing. I'll take that. Um, I can reuse scouting orbs, so the one that I have is fine. Invisibility potion? It only lasts a few seconds and does not make you inaudible. Okay, so if I need to walk across a brightly lit place very quickly, I guess I could use it. Um, I'll take a slow fall potion. Again, the money does not roll over into the next mission, so you might as well just spend it all right here. It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna need to remain unseen, so let's take some more water arrows. Um, take some moss. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Sure, take that, sure. Yep, great. Alright. Let's take a look at this tip. Just the tip, ma'am. I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> a control panel in the front desk can not only open the main gates, but also disable the alarm mechanism. Hmm. Good to know. Shoals Gate is loaded with hidden entrances and secret levers. Don't hesitate to go through people's garbage. You never know what you might find. Good to know. Better check my map. Oh man, this place is complicated. So, wait, where the hell am I? Am I here? Alright, well, once again, like usual, the map is almost entirely useless. At the moment, the only thing I can do is walk forward, so I'm just going to do that. I think that's supposed to be the sound of a fan, but it kind of sounds like a rave party is happening somewhere deep inside this building. Yeah, 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 I know. Why is that tip thing still showing up? I've already done a couple of missions. Go away. I don't need you. The hell this is looks all this like the way in. This? Where the hell does this go? Into the sewers? <laughs> oh. I guess this is some sort of a pumping station? Oh god. No thanks, I'm good. Don't think I'm meant to go in that way. Looks a little spicy.
Actually, wait. So this leads to the basement, but what if I just go this way? Will I find anything? Oh my god, what the hell? Are the... This is some new technology. I never saw this in Thief 1. I think those are turrets. And that is a super advanced camera, I think. I wonder how good its vision is. Will it see me from here? Some sort of a bar. Ah, my favorite year. Anything up there? Mm, don't think so. Alright, what's back here? So I was there, now I'm here. Um, alright, let's just go into the drain. I got a little money, got a little something something, I'm good to go. And that's in addition to whatever the job pays. What does the job pay? Does it say? It doesn't say. You know what? I'm gonna try to hold my breath. And see if I can hold my breath as long as I have to actually remain in the water. This should be fun. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Damn it, I wanted to have to hold my breath longer. Alright, here we go again. Can't stay underwater too long, or I'll drown. <sighs> God, I think I could actually hold my breath for longer than Garrett can. He was about to run out of air, but I think I would have been fine. Oh, come on. This is too easy. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother holding my breath. It's like two seconds to the next air bubble. Oh my god, I almost drowned there. I was under for a whole 200 milliseconds. Man, these textures look really good. They look damn good. <sighs> yeah, whatever the, um... Whatever part of Taffer Patcher upgraded the graphics in Thief 2, um... They did it a lot more extensively than the upgraded patch for Thief, uh, Thief 1. Definitely a lot more extensive graphical overhaul, because I feel like the first Thief, I feel like most of the graphics were really not overhauled at all, or if they were, it was so minor that it looked original to me. But these are obviously not original, these are way higher resolution, and they actually look really good. I mean, you can see the poly count for the environment is still really low, like the entire ceiling here is just completely flat, and there's no bump mapping or anything like that. But just having high-resolution textures makes a big difference. Way, way better than I'm sure it would have been before. Yay, flares! Those stay lit for what, like two seconds? Okay, five seconds? Ten seconds? Fifteen seconds? There we go. 10 to 15 seconds, I think. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't know. Let's just go this way. Well, that's obviously a secret door. But I think. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say it's open from the other side, but no, it's not. Alright, where am I? Here. I'm in maintenance. Wait, you're telling me this contraption's entire purpose is just to open the secret door right next to it? What? What? I. Whatever. Don't question it. Don't question it. Will only hurt your brain. Just accept it. Just blindly accept it. Just, just take that information into your head. Don't process it. Just take it in. Store it. Shove it in there. Even if it kind of sticks up too far and the lid won't close, just shove it in. It's fine. Everything's fine. Maintenance. Alright, I should start encountering people pretty- yeah. Right about now. Oh my god, this place is a fucking rat's nest. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is get something from Lieutenant Hagen's office, which is... where? Seriously, where the hell is it? Oh my god. I don't see anything that says Lieutenant Hagen's office. I know the vault's on the third floor. I still haven't seen or heard anyone. Oh, there we go. Well, my servant Genevieve is missing. Now, she had no reason to run away. I treated her like my own daughter. Who will take care of me now? Ma'am, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you're drifting off the subject again. Just stick to the facts, please. Are you going to help me or not? I'll have you know, I am a personal friend of Father Karras. He has a great deal of influence, you know. Where do you think all your fancy new devices came from? I doubt he would be pleased to find out you are neglecting to help one of his friends. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of your problem as quickly as I can. The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can start looking for your servant. Why don't you calm down and collect yourself while I go over what we have so far? I I'm sorry, officer. Thank you. Okay, a little while ago I saw glasses that were way too small for anyone to wear, and now these look way too big. What the hell's up with the scale of the glasses in this game? The scale of the glasses in this game is so unrealistic, I'm uninstalling it. This is so stupid. I'm offended. Did you? What the devil is going on? Get oh shit. Time to go. Do, do, do. Oh, that's the uh ready and operational. Now it will activate the alarm whenever an intruder doth approach. How does it know the difference between us and an intruder? To find the answer to that question, thou must attend the Mechanist Seminary and join our order. The wisdom of Karath is not for the eyes of the common man. What about maintenance for all these contraptions? 
thy sheriff did insist that all information for thy security systems be left in the care of Lieutenant Hagen. Instructions are locked in thy secure records area. What secure area? The sheriff requested us to construct a records hall that only he and his lieutenants may view. Tis no doubt to keep them from the eyes of incompetence such as thee. down and up to four more this is what it is right don't knock out or kill more than five yep 